It's broken up into three parts. One message, three parts. The first angel, the second angel, and then the third angel. Do you remember that? Yes. Let's look at Revelation 14 and verse 6. And when you have it, say amen. amen. The Bible says in verse 6, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his what? Judgment is come. We saw in that hour of judgment that come, 1844, the time period in which God is seeking to see Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen? Amen. For almost 172 years, God has been trying to finish his mystery within us. And he's looking for you and me to submit so that we can see the fullness of Christ manifested in our mortal bodies. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the second angel. The Bible says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. We studied that out yesterday, amen? Was it clear from the Bible? Was it clear from the mouth of Babylon? We saw who her daughters are, amen? That have come out of her, that do the same things, that hold to the same false teachings. So we've seen these first two messages, amen? Let's look at Revelation 14 and verse 9 today. The Bible says, and the third angel, which angel? The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship who? The beast and his image and receive his what? Mark in their forehead or in their hand, the same might, the same might, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. There's only one way to escape. Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of God. Jesus. Do you see the one way of escape? To keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ. Do we need to know who the beast is? Do we need to know what its image is? Do we need to know what the mark of the beast is? Are you ready to study? Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13 and we're going to begin at verse 1 and when you have it say amen. amen. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 13 and verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet was as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and his great authority. So we just read about a beast in Revelation chapter 13 that came up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And who gave this beast, according to verse 2, its power and its seat and its great authority? Who? The dragon. Question, who is the dragon? Satan. How do we know that? Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. Look at that quickly. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. This institution is fully inspired by none other than Satan himself. The Bible says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called who? The devil and Satan, which deceiveth some of the world, which deceiveth just non-Christians. It says, deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, 